the rage of dragons for as long as i have read books i've been reading fantasy and while i've been able to connect on a human level and an emotional level with the characters and the world i have not necessarily connected on a cultural level until i read the rage of dragons by ivan winters sit back relax and watch this review as i gush all over it You little common, are lucky I don't have you hanged for attacking and injuring a noble. Scurry back into your mud hole now before I change my mind. Your indulgence in the low common did this. I fought Kegiso fairly, common or not, I was the better man. I am a better man than you. Keller, this lesser has the dangerous idea that he knows the sword. Counselor Odili, this is my son. He's hardly a man and has not yet been tested. I am a full-blooded Yashi with military status. <gasps> no, no, oh, no. <gasps> it's my fault. Leave him alone. <gasps> Please let him go. <gasps> End it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I beg, sorry. <laughs> ah! Stop. No, Tao! He gone. <gasps> Promise me you make them suffer. Promise it. Promise it. Promise it, Tao. Make me hate you a little less and promise. I promise. <laughs> When we fight, the war bonds. If you enjoyed that, like, comment, and subscribe. You already know the drill. As a Nigerian, reading fantasy in an African setting that felt authentic just allowed me to enjoy this book on another level. Rage of Dragons was yes. epic. What made this one special for you? Being set in an African world and having African characters made it feel intimate and personal, especially coming from someone who was born and raised in Nigeria. So black and African representation is important for you in fantasy stories? Not necessarily. Um, it has to feel organic. Organic as opposed to forced? Exactly. If a winters didn't go around begging creators or insisting that black characters are put into fantasy stories, he went and did it by himself, proving to black writers and kids that it's possible to do it successfully. Truly inspiring as a black writer. And imagine the impact to have on black kids. Right. Don't beg for something that you can take for yourself. I completely agree. If it's given to you, it can be taken away. Tao is a character that is willing to give up everything for his revenge. He is basically the collective rage of a people who have been subjugated to the worst kind of treatment. They are on the bottom of society and are seen as filth. The upper class of society in this book hold on to power by monopolizing the magic system that allows them to channel powers through priestesses. So Tao being on the lowest levels of society has to create his own magic system. And what I love about the magic system that he creates is that it is an extension of his character. Tao creates this magic system that shows an utter disregard for rational thinking, logic and compromise and replaces that with rage and violence. I always find it funny when other readers of the book complain about Tao's saying, Tao is a dumb character and he always makes all the wrong decisions. Anytime I hear that, I'm just like, this is not the Count of Monte Cristo. This is not Sherlock Holmes. This is the Rage of Dragons. Is Tao crazy? Yes, he is. Is Tao a loony being? 100%. Has Tao lost his mind? Yes. But Tao is a character that was very intentionally written. The prose is very taut. It's very tight. And because it's very tight, 
there is a lot of tension in every page. What this does is that it helps you as a reader when Ivan Winters is describing battle. Everything feels very sharp and visceral. If there is one thing I can see about this book is that the action in Rage of Dragons is just... There are little things here and there that Ivan Winter just got right. For instance, the dialogue is very direct in a specific way that Africans speak. And that just helped me appreciate this work so much more. Follow the link in the description and grab a copy for yourself. If you're into epic storytelling of the highest order, check out my Prince of Nothing review over here. Like, comment and subscribe. Stay epic and peace.